I want young kids to think that English is fun. Do what you love in English. Yeah. <laughs> Konnichiwa, good afternoon, what's up? It's Rupa Sensei here, and I'm back with these legendary guests today. How you doing, gentlemen? Good, yeah. how about you? I'm doing fantastic, thanks for asking. I'm sure you guys remember last time these guys came on the video. Wow, everyone was super impressed. You guys have amazing English. But for people who are living under a rock and haven't seen the video, could you guys do a little self-introduction? Hi, I'm Sota. I'm Yuta. I'm Yuta. And we're from the YouTube channel SYR Bros from Tokyo to the world. And we make videos about a Japanese tradition and stuff. And we do it all in English. Yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. So spreading Japanese culture to the whole world. That's yes. amazing. And today's topic is all about English education system in Japan. How people can learn from you guys. Because I think it's time that the people in charge, they need to change their ways and get more young people or even more adults speaking English. I think that would be fantastic. But first, quick icebreaker question there, gentlemen. If you could be a superhero, who would you be? Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Why do you like Spider-Man? Uh, because he can mostly go anywhere. True. I mean, with his whips. Batman? Batman. Oh, that's my favorite too. Why do you like Batman? Um, because he flies. And he has lots of money. Um. And a lot of girlfriends. <laughs> you? I don't know. Thanos. Thanos! <laughs> <laughs> Evil guy over here. Evil guy over here. King of the multiverse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So today we're gonna be real superheroes. Yeah. And help Japan. If you guys were in charge of the English education system in Japan, what would be the first thing you changed? The age to start learning. Really? Yeah. You would lower it down or raise it up? Lower it down. Okay. Definitely. What age do you think? Realistically, it would be like starting from kindergarten or something. Yep. But theoretically, it would be better if you started from when you were one like, year old. And what kind of things would you recommend that age range does? You don't have to like open textbooks and you know do all that studying stuff. Watching English TV videos, listening to the English radio and stuff. Sounds like a fun class. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nothing like the government gives you like uh, these kids textbooks for you to finish and stuff. Yeah. Not, not those stuff because kids can't do that. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent agree. Especially with like entrance exams, yeah. even super young kids have to do entrance exams. Yes, it must be super stressful. I I want young kids to think that English is fun. So exactly. that, yeah, they want to do it more often. And I think what's also important is we create a need for English, because a lot of Japanese kids they grow up in a Japanese environment, don't actually speak to any foreigners or anything until later on. And then they don't have a reason to study English. Yes. So I think that's that's a super good idea. What about you, sir? Add more ice cream to class. I think I'm gonna. Uh, everyone gonna give me five bucks. Everyone give you five dollars. But how does that help with learning English? You did say that last time, though. Planning evil schemes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. All right. To wrap that up, for that question, basically make it fun. So watching movies and TV shows, radio shows in class, and also create a need for English, right? Yeah. What would be a good way for Japanese young kids to feel like English is something necessary? This won't answer your question. Okay. But you don't need a reason to start. Just start before you even think it's not interesting. Like right. After you're like four or five, you're gonna think it's not interesting and you don't need it. So before you think that. You just start it. It's just something new, something exciting. Yeah. yeah, especially if you start to learn advanced English from the start, people are going to be like, ah, oh, just like it's guy night. <laughs> and I think you guys are such a great example of that because you guys speak English together. Yeah. Even though you're three Japanese boys born and raised in Japan, but you speak English together. So I guess that's one great way for you guys to have that need for for English. And also, if it's fun, kids want to do it more, right? Yeah. So that that's another great reason to keep it fun, keep it super fun. Okay, so going on from there, to make English fun, to make it exciting. If you guys were teachers in a class, so we got the SYL Bros Sensei Tachi in a school, what would your 90-minute class look like? Go. 
uh, I wouldn't let everybody have like computers and watch like YouTube videos or something uh, like what they want to watch in English so that like if they want to like know what's happening in that YouTube video, they'll have to, you know, like learn English. Fantastic. Yeah, let's go. Um, make everyone English teacher. Make everyone teachers. Okay, that is a crazy school. And then what's gonna happen? If we go to our kid, we will teach uh, uh, English. Wow, so people are teaching each other. Yeah. Uh, that's actually a kind of good way to look at it. So if everyone's a teacher, then also everyone's a student and teaching each other, right? Yeah. Very philosophical answer. <laughs> yeah. What about you, sir? I feel like that it depends on the level of English uh, of the students at that point. Let's say shogaku level. So after they've learned the ABCs and you know basic verbs and you know nouns and stuff like that, some basic sentence structures. What should they do from from that point on? I think audiobooks are good. Audiobooks, yeah. Yeah. In class. Or the teacher could read the books and they'd listen and they'd read along. But I also agree with Yuta. Only I think that maybe with the internet, uh, people can always find a way to cheat. Yeah, the internet's what we call a double-edged sword. So, you know, when I was in school, the teachers gave us computers and then we played lots of games and <laughs> things like that. But I guess if you're playing the games in the language you want to learn, oh. right? Create a fun environment like that. Like you guys said last time, you guys play Minecraft and stuff together in English, which is a great way to learn, right? Great way to get that English immersion. So I think, yo, for that, if you guys were teachers, basically you would create an immersion like setting in the classroom. If you guys were teachers, would you teach only in English? So teach English in English or teach English in Japanese? English in English. Yeah? Yeah, I would make the classroom in 90 minutes like Japanese band. Like, oh, really? Learning Japanese in that classroom. Fantastic. Only English. Yeah? So that they would be forced to use English if they wanted to like tell each other something. Yeah. Yeah, right? yeah like uh, Japan speak uh, Japanese, so I think I should uh, make the Japanese uh, uh, guys the English. Fantastic. When you're watching a TV show or something, and there's a word that you don't know. Do you guys look it up? No. You no. just learn it in context. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How they use it. Yeah. And then you can kind of use it the same way that they use it. Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. Last question there. For parents, like your parents that want to raise fine young boys or fine young girls, what would be like an after-school routine? So the kid, they might go to school throughout the day and then might have a club activity, then come back home, they're a little bit tired, they don't want to do textbooks, right? They don't want to study for a test. What would be a fun activity or fun activities that parents can do in your free time to learn English? Doing stuff in English that they're interested in, like TV or games or like reading books, magazines, yeah. just something Th that things that they can enjoy. And I think what's important there is learning stuff that's in line with your hobbies. Yeah. So like if you guys like basketball, for example, learn about basketball in English. I used to do this with card games and games and stuff like that. I would learn about those games in Japanese. And I think it's a great way for your motivation to continue. Yeah. yeah. Do those things in English. That's one of the things I always say, don't study English, but do the things you love in English. Do you guys have any recommended games that parents could do with kids? Yeah. Monopoly. Monopoly. Oh, that's a fun one. Uh, no, no, Scrabble. 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 Yeah. yeah, great. Is Scrabble popular in Japan? I no. don't really know, but no. we, 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 we have like, it. We like we have it. it. Yeah. So we're going to make the new Scrabble version. S-Y-R Bros. <laughs> Scrabble version. <laughs> Yeah, you it's a, spell out S-Y-R, you get a million points. That's it. You win the game instantly. So what do you guys do in, in Scrabble? Um, make some words. So we yeah. start with one word and then we um, think of a word that starts with the, yeah. the letters from the first word. Mm. And then we continue that. It has yeah. to connect, right? Yeah. If there was a C and an A and a T, you, you, like, you could uh, spell it. Yeah, it's a super fun game. And I guess while you're doing the Scrabble, also speak in English. Yeah. Oh no, that word's wrong. Oh, you don't spell it like that. You know, create that English conversation while you're playing the games. That word doesn't exist. Yeah. I think uh, a cat is a, 
Canton is an English game too. Canton, oh yeah. You guys play Catan together? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, board games. Do you guys prefer board games over video games? Depends. Depends, yeah? yeah? It depends, yeah. yeah. I think board games are good for something like a class or an activity you do together, yeah. right? Yeah. Whether if you're alone, probably video games are more fun, yeah. right? Obviously, yeah. Fantastic. All right, and that's also ties into school and stuff like that because teachers can definitely start doing that too. Put students into groups, do some board games, create that English speaking environment yeah. and keep yeah. it Japanese band, yeah? <laughs> Fantastic, okay. Do you boys want to have any last messages to the audience of YouTube? Um, Dozo. Subscribe. Subscribe, yes. <laughs> and subscribe to these boys too, SIR bros. All the links, everything in the description below. And also, one key theme that we talked about today was immersion. Yeah. So listen to as much English as you can, speak as much English as you can. Input and output. Yeah, and all your guys' videos are in English. So they're a great source material for you guys to learn some fantastic words from entertaining videos of these guys. Yes, do what you love in English. Do what you love, great words for English learning and also for life as well. Yeah. Do what you love. If you are, you know, not happy with your job or not happy what you're learning at school, do what you love. Great yeah. philosophy from these young gentlemen. Okay guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much, that was awesome. You know, even though you guys are young, you gave some really deep answers, some really great answers there. So hopefully we can help out a lot of teachers or yeah. people in charge of, you know, English education or anything. And change Japan for the best! Yes! Superheroes! Yeah! Ciao, <laughs> arigato! Mate kondo! Bye! See you later! Perfect!